All right, um, I'm gonna show you guys some watercolor crayon techniques. If you haven't heard of watercolor crayons, they literally are called watercolor crayons. Um, you cannot do this with regular crayons at home. Um, but the difference between watercolor crayons and regular crayons is watercolor crayons actually dissolve into watercolor and regular crayons just have the hard wax in them. You'll notice that watercolor crayons are a little bit softer than normal crayons too. They almost feel like you're drawing with an oil pastel in a way. All right, so let's get started. Um, these are my watercolor crayons. I really like this brand, but there are many different brands of watercolor crayons. Um, and you do need a brush for doing this um, because you don't actually dip the crayon in water. You color with the crayon and then you brush over it with water. So let's get started. Um, I'm just gonna show you with one crayon how you can get um, different values of a color from how hard you push um, with the crayon onto the paper and um, and how many times you go over it, okay? So if you just want a nice light blue, then you're just gonna very gently and lightly color a space. If you want a darker value, more intense pigment, pigment is the color, um, then you're gonna press a little bit harder and you're gonna go over it a few more times, okay? You can already see the difference. And then if you want a really nice, vibrant blue, then you're gonna press a lot harder and you're gonna go over it a couple of times, okay? So now I've got it's the same pigment, it's the same color, but in different degrees, okay? So, now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go over the watercolor crayon. And you will notice that as I go over it with the water, that it starts to dissolve. Okay, now I'm gonna go over the next one and you're gonna notice that it's a little bit more intense. There's a little bit more color because this one has more water and less pigment and this one has more pigment and a little bit, maybe, well, it's the same amount of water but more pigment in the water, okay? And then this last one it's gonna have the most pigment with the water. Okay, so you see that? Light, medium, and then more intense. Okay, a little bit darker. I mean, again, it's all the same color, but so I'm going to kind of bring this up to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to show you another thing that some people like to do with watercolor crayons where you create a line with the crayon. Okay. And then you take your brush. Get a nice amount of water. And you start dissolving the crayon. And you're kind of making like a little fade. So you're dissolving the crayon maybe not completely and it creates a nice 
intense color right along the edge. But then it kind of fades out. Just like that. Okay. So that's something that people like to do with watercolor crayons, also um, with watercolor pencils. And now I'm going to show you how people create an ombre, which is when it's also called a gradient, when one color fades into another. Um, and I'm going to show you this with watercolor crayon. And we're going to also make a new color as we do this. Okay, so I'm going to actually do this with royal blue and yellow. These are both primary colors. The third primary color is red. Um, when you mix yellow and blue together, you make a secondary color, which is green. Okay, so I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm going to make it nice and intense. And then I'm going to kind of start to fade out. Okay. Then I'm going to start with the blue. Make it nice and intense. And then I'm going to kind of fade in to the yellow. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush and actually for this, I'm going to use a little bit bigger brush and I'm going to go over the yellow first. You could go over the blue first. Okay. But I'm just going to go over the yellow. I'm not going to hit the green in the middle yet or what I'm going to turn into green. Okay. And then I'm going to rinse my brush. Okay. I'm going to go over the blue. And now I'm going to rinse my brush again. And I'm going to go over the middle, which is going to be a nice green. Okay. So that is how you do an ombre with watercolor crayons. It might take you a couple tries until you get it right. So don't be frustrated if it doesn't work the first time. Okay. Key is you want to rinse your brush between the colors because if you just go like this, it's going to mix the blue and the yellow right away and you're just going to get the color green. You're not going to get yellow, green, and blue. Okay. Um, a mistake a lot of people make is thinking that when they go over it with water that the colors aren't going to mix. Okay. So I see a lot of people, um, put down maybe like a rainbow of colors and then, and then they go like this and then it just all turns brown. Okay. I'm going to show you that here in a second. And then I'm going to show you if you want to make a rainbow, how to make it not turn brown. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to do a full rainbow. I think I'll just do a couple rainbow colors in a row. So I'm going to do, whoops, yellow, orange, red. Well, maybe I will just do a full rainbow. I don't think it's going to take me that long to do. And I can actually use this to show you both. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do it correctly and how to do it incorrectly with this little rainbow here. Okay. So to do it correctly, you're going to go over one color. Then you're going to rinse your brush. You're going to go over the next color, rinse your brush. Next color, rinse your brush. Uh-oh, whoops. Now, I have too much water here. It's always good to have on hand 
a little baby wipe or a paper towel in case this happens. Okay, and I'm gonna go over the yellow. Go over the orange. And the red. Okay, so now I've got my watercolor crayon rainbow. Now, this is what I see people do a lot. That's the no-no, okay? Don't think if you mix this way that you're gonna get a rainbow. You're gonna get usually something close to the color brown, okay? So, that's what happens if you mix them all together at once, okay? So it's like a really dark brown that you would get. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to show you with this. Um, I think that's it. Um, all right. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you have watercolor crayons at home, I would encourage you to experiment with them as much as possible. Um, there are probably more techniques than what I showed you here. And um, they're really fun, they're really creamy. Um, they have nice, intense colors. Sometimes people like to use watercolor crayons over watercolor because they have a little bit more control with the crayon than with watercolor, okay? Um, and that's another reason why people use watercolor pencils too, is because they have a nice fine tip and they have a little bit more control with the watercolor pencil than they do with um, just plain old watercolor. Also, some people kind of like that gritty look when you can see some um, intensity of color um, underneath the watercolor, okay? Um, all right, so I hope everyone is well and I will talk to you later.